I love the quiet. And that's hard to come by these busy times. And yeah, sure, it may stick to high heaven down here, but it's just perfect for an old lyricist like me. Sammy Zong's always got some bounce, but uh, if I don't get away once in a while, they never have any words to go with them. So I'll keep my mind a-singing and, uh, my nose closed. Alright, let's go over this again. If the pressure goes over 45, I screw the safety bowl and tight it, right? No! For the last time you do that, you blow every pipe in this place. If it reaches 45, you unhook the safety switch. Are you sure? You know, this sounds harder than comparing ears wax to beeswax. Look, it's not that difficult. Just keep an eye on the gauge. Look, pal, if you think I'm doing my job and yours, I'm outta here. They told me I was perfect for the role. Absolutely perfect. Now Joey's going around, saying things behind closed doors. I can always tell. Now he wants to meet again tomorrow, says he has an opportunity for me. I'll hear him out. But if that smooth talker thinks you can double-cross an angel and get away with it, well, oh, he's got another thing coming. Alice? Ooh, she doesn't like liars. For 40 years, I've built attractions that stagger the imagination. Colossal wonders such as the world has never seen. I have earned my legacy with sweat. But right in front of everyone, high-level investors, Wall Street tycoons, the ever-tactless Joey Drew introduces me, the great Bertram Piedmont, as Bertie, like I was his child. You may be paying me, Mr. Drew, but you don't own me. I'll build you a park better than anything you could ever possibly conceive. But before you go taking any bows, Mr. Drew, know that this grand achievement will belong to me and to me alone. These guys down the warehouse get to play games all day while I'm stuck cleaning up after them. They kept locking themselves out of their own back room. So I says to them, look guys, I says, you're smart, right? Here's an idea. Why not rig these games up to knock open the door if you win? It'll be fun for you guys, and it saves me the trip down here every day. They went for it like a dog to pot roast. I tell you, if these guys don't start realizing who the real genius is, I'm out of here. The only thing that works around here is my ulcer. Half these people don't know a ranch from a dang steamroller. Bunch of morons, what they are. Spend their day in the warehouse arguing over who's supposed to be doing what or playing them silly games. Still, I'm not complaining. I get most of my time to myself. Suits me just fine. Only thing that bothers me is that mechanical demon in the corner. Bertram's been working on it for a month now. Says it will walk someday and maybe dance. <laughs> All it does now is give me the creeps. I swear, when my back's turned, that thing's moving. I believe there's something special in all of us. With true inner strength, you can conquer even your biggest challenges. You just have to believe in yourself and remain honest, motivated, and above all, who you really are. Okay, let's stop it right there. I can only do so many takes of this trash a day. You tell the guys in writing want more use of the word dreaming in every message. Keep rolling on that, get it? Dreaming, dreaming, dreaming. People just eat up that kind of slop. Hmm, what? It's still on. Well, turn it off, damn it! Now we come to the question. Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. How is a girl to choose? <laughs> Take this little freak for instance. He crawled in here, trailing his tainted ink to my door. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like? Living in the dark puddles, it's a buzzing, screaming well of voices, like bits of your mind, swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born from its inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. I will not let the demon touch me again. I am so close now. So almost perfect. <sighs> yes, I will spare you. For now. Better yet, I'll let you ascend and leave this place. If you will do a few 
Incy, wincy little favors for me first. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. He, he's gonna find me. He always finds me. Oh no! I just want to go home. When do we go home? When do we go home? 